Hey everybody, Eric from The Gamer here, back with another unboxing. Today we have some product from Activision and The Geek Store. We're gonna be opening two Crash Bandicoot items. This is uh, something very unique. It's called a Crash Bandicoot Gaming Locker. And then we also have a awesome Crash Bandicoot statue here. So we're going to uh, take a look at both of those. Let's jump right in. So first up is the Crash Bandicoot Gaming Locker from Geek Store. Uh, I like these a lot. I, I like the idea of this because it's very useful. Um, statues are cool, obviously I collect that kind of stuff, but I like something that I can add uh, to my display that actually uh, has some use. So this is really cool. I, I've never seen anything like this. It holds your controllers on the sides, you can put your games in the middle, and you can put your headphones right on top. It's called the Gaming Locker. And I don't know if they do this for other brands or other IPs too. Uh, this Crash Bandicoot one is the first one I've seen. So um, let's open it up and see what it's all about. Oh, okay, well, some assembly is required. So uh, hopefully through the magic of editing. Okay, there's a lot of pieces. <laughs> Uh, we will super speed through putting it all together. Okay, that's it. Okay, here it is. All built. Um, I gotta say, it wasn't terrible. Uh, it wasn't easy. Um, partly because there's no directions. Um, we have the contents and it says, look at the directions below and then it's just sort of this diagram, this blown up diagram, which is fine. It's not that complicated, uh, but there is some nuance to it. For instance, um, you really wanna put the doors on first before you put the sides on because I did it the other way and then trying to screw on the doors uh, while the rest of it is built is really hard. There are some screws that you need to put on there's some on the top that hold on the uh, headphone and there's some that hold on the doors. They give you this teeny tiny baby screwdriver and these very tiny screws. So, uh, and then the other thing was that the whole bottom assembly, so the bottom, the drawer, the top of the drawer, and then both sides. So, uh, so all five of those pieces have to all kind of go together at the exact same time, uh, which was a bit challenging. It took me, I don't know, about 20 minutes to, to get it all together. I think it looks really nice. Um, it's got some weight to it, so I know it, that it can hold my stuff. And uh, I love the pattern on the door of the, the Aku Aku and uh, lots of stuff. There's ships, there's wampa fruit, uh, there's boxes. So now, we are going to load it up with controllers and games and headphones and see how it looks. Okay, here it is, all loaded up. Controllers on the side. Headphones there right on the top. And open it up. And I think it looks really nice. Now, uh, you can fit 10 games. Uh, Standard PS4, Xbox One size boxes. Those will work for next gen too. Um, obviously any kind of like special edition or like double size case isn't gonna fit in there. Um, and also I have this sleeved evolved one in the top slot and because of the, the little magnet on the door, the doors would not close that way. So uh, yeah, that's the only thing. You just can't put a sleeved game there. But um, as for the controller holders, I've got a few different kinds. I've got Xbox, PlayStation, uh, Switch, and, uh, and you know, works great. Kind of just universal controller holders. I think the Xbox ones are, actually they're all pretty stable. They're, they're all pretty stable on there. So, uh, and then that drawer there for cables and whatnot, the drawer is really stiff. The whole thing moves when I try to open or close it. Maybe I built it wrong. I don't think so, but it's possible. Maybe it'll loosen up over time, but not super worried about the drawer. Um, and then your, uh, your headphones up here. If you've got wired headphones, you'll want to tie them up in a nice little knot or something so it looks better. But uh, I think this looks 
pretty cool for, for wireless headphones. The total package I'm really happy with. It's nice and sturdy, it's stable. It's just something really unique, a nice unique little locker to put uh, on your desk or under your TV stand or something if you have the space. There it is, the Crash Bandicoot 4 uh, gaming locker from Geek Store. Um, I like that a lot, really useful, really unique. Let's take a look at the next product. Well, this one's gonna be a much more straightforward product, but still just as cool. Let's take a look at this statue from Crash Bandicoot 4. Just a little plastic on top. No assembly required, uh, but I just love the detail on Crash. This is his Crash 4 design, uh, clearly. Here he is taking a selfie, and I'll move the camera so you can see that. It's actually the selfie on the screen. That is really cool. Um, but yeah, he's just got those sharp, angular qualities that Crash 4 has. Um, even the base is really cool. Very stony details. This is just like a really high quality statue. The base is big. The base is quite round. So, um, you know, it's gonna take up, uh, you know, a certain amount of space on your shelf that maybe other statues don't, but he's not posable or anything. It's just, he's got a, got a little wobble to him, a little action. Uh, yeah, it just, it just looks great. The closer you get, the better the details are. I, uh, I love it. I love this little guy, been a Crash fan my whole life, and it's really nice to see new games and really high quality products like these. Uh, from the Geek Store. That's gonna do it for this unboxing. Thank you so much for checking it out and for more Crash 4 content, check out thegamer.com. Uh, links for Geek Store and this product will be down in the description. Thanks.